No, no. Smoking is a leading cause of preventable death. Why are we the target? Why are we the target? Advertising our community to artists with this vaping garbage. Yeah, they tryna take us away, they tryna take us away, they tryna smoke us away until we gone. Yeah, they tryna take us away, they tryna take us away, they tryna smoke us away until we gone. 85% black, menthol smokers, you tell me that. Normally, this is just the receiving part of the service where people will go to look at the casket and have some memories of those who, are, who have succumbed to tobacco, cancer. Uh, these are the byproducts of this great deficit in our community. They took more lives than bullets in any war that we've ever been in. So as you view the remains of your loved one uh, in that casket, I saw my grandfather. I saw my auntie. I don't know about who you may have saw, but the reality is real. And we need to focus on how we can correct those things that have caused us hurt in all of our lives. I'm Reverend Mark Blue pastor of the Second Baptist Church, but I'm also the president of the Buffalo NAACP. And we do know that cancer kills, menthol kills, second, third-hand smoke kills. It stunts growth. It causes families to hurt. It causes families to miss loved ones. But I'm here to share with you that the NAACP has taken the stand against menthol. It is one of the things that we want to continue to do because it affects those who are the most affected, and that is our black and brown community. We have been targeted generation after generation. If you look at any of the commercials that are out right now, they're targeting black people, they're targeting our minorities, and they're also making it so smoking becomes more habitual. They're making it so smoking becomes more, it looks like enjoyable. They don't do this in the white communities. They do it in the black communities. They advertise it where candy is, where potato chips are. But I have news for you. In 2023, the FDA has proposed a ban on menthol. But what has happened is the legislation has not passed. We need to talk to our legislators talk to our decision makers. Even City Hall has the ability to ban menthol in our communities. My name is uh, Dr. Skyler Lawson. I'm the, uh, I'm the lead of the research and evaluation team for No Menthol Buffalo. And I think the menthol, uh, No Menthol Buffalo funeral is important because it kind of highlights the collective impact that uh, menthol tobacco has had on black, brown, and LGBTQIA populations. And, you know, we have, we have a casket here with, full of uh, different tobacco products, and we have as people as people walk by this, the casket, they probably saw their family members in that casket. You know, all all of them, you know, dying from preventable deaths because of you know very t very aggressive, very targeted marketing in their communities, and the, you know being, being poisoned by a flavored tobacco product that, when used as intended, will kill you. And again, that that, that flavor sweetens the poison. So uh, I think it's really important to kind of highlight this this this, uh, this public health issue, this health disparities issue. And we had a, we had a pretty decent turnout, and I'm looking forward to doing more more and more events to put more pressure on the Common Council to ban the retail sale of menthol cigarettes in the city of Buffalo. It was, just, uh, it's nice, it was nice to see community members give their testimonials to talk about how they were personally impacted by menthol cigarettes. They lost, you know, brothers were lost, fathers were lost, you know, grandfathers, grandmothers, just all types of family members have been affected multiple generations by a totally preventable, um, you know, uh, cause of death. Hi, my name is Giovanna Cuomo Brown. I am the Community Engagement Specialist at the Buffalo Center for Health Equity. And I am here at the second annual No Menthol Funeral today um, for various reasons. Most of all because menthol cigarettes um, and menthol products affect me very personally. Um, I lost my mom when I was just 16 years old. And um, my younger brothers, my sweet younger brothers, were just 12 and 9 years old at the time. And um, my mom, she lost her life and she was only 41. And that was a result of uh, menthol cigarettes that she smoked for 30 years since she was the age, uh, since she was age 11. Um, so I'm calling on menthol products, menthol cigarettes to be banned so that 
no other family has to suffer the way that mine has um, in losing my best friend. All right, so hello everybody. My name is Jason Brady, and I'm here with uh, Buffalo No Menthol because the person who created it actually invited me a week ago. I, I met him at the Igniting Hope conference, and he spoke some powerful words about just why it's important to take away menthol from Buffalo community, from Buffalo communities. You know, why well, have access to something that's so, actually detrimental to the community itself? You know what I'm saying? Knowing that it's the number one killer in our community. So once I heard that they were doing this and that it was a nonprofit organization, they needed help, I came out and I helped. You know, I, I quit smoking myself as well. I didn't, I didn't smoke menthol cigarettes. I smoked, you know, other things, graba, yada, yada, yada. I, I, I want to have change for myself and for the community. So that's pretty much it. Hi, my name is Michelle Lawson. I'm the graphic specialist for No Menthol Buffalo. And No Menthol Buffalo has been particularly important to me because since I was a child, my whole family, we were targeted um, culturally by the tobacco industry. Um, I remember seeing like these beautiful, cool, um, the cool jazz festival ads and, you know, our black magazines. And, you know, it was just effortlessly cool. But one by one, I saw people in my family affected by menthol cigarettes. They died, uh, cancer, lung cancer, diabetes, heart attacks, stroke, and even I ended up with um, a lot of health problems due to secondhand smoke. So I don't want this next generation to suffer the way I suffered. So that's why this is important to me. Visit nomenthalbflo.org and visit us on our Instagram and Facebook page. Thank you.